Hi there. Okay. Thanks for joining. Hello. <clears throat> I don't know if you guys have been on the previous podcast. No, it's not a podcast. <laughs> Periscopes. Uh, but we are on day eight. Day eight of calling in the one. Seven weeks to attract the love of your life. And I got a date tonight. So something's working. <laughs> I have to say I'm a little nervous, but I'm excited. And yeah, today's lesson, I don't know if you guys completed the practice for yesterday, <clears throat> but that was all about feng shui and moving around your home. Hi, thanks for joining. So this is all about love and relationships and finding your one, your soulmate. Uh, the lessons are pretty awesome though. You can use them towards business and I kind of tweak them later on to show you how that can support your business stuff as well. Um, but for me, just with everything that I do, these, this book beautifully matches everything that I'm about anyway. So why not share it with you guys? <laughs> So lesson eight today is about allowing loss, and I did not like that title. Thank you for all the love. So I got to be honest, I was not a fan of the title, but I see why it's positive. So in a nutshell, it's about letting go of everything that we think is right or or letting go of situations that might not support the relationship of our dreams. So maybe you're already in a relationship and you know it's not a good one and it's not one maybe that you choose to put any more effort into, but uh, I always encourage that personally. But anyways, I want, I want to share some of, some of these quotes because I really li I like them. So to make an ideal of pursuing the good is like trying to get rid of the left door by constantly turning right. Do you see how that just doesn't work? So if we're constantly trying to go over here and not ever turning left, we're never going to get there. So it is important to have loss and challenges and more to get where we want to be in life. That's just part of the ebb and flow. Uh... I just don't know that I appreciate the way Miss Catherine Woodward time Thomas if you guys are just joining we're reading calling in the one seven weeks to attract the love of your life and I have a date tonight um, thank goodness Periscope videos end in 24 hours so uh, he'll never know <laughs> I'm talking about it oh geez anyways this is about surrender surrendering surrendering what we think it's supposed to be surrendering relationships that maybe aren't serving us. I don't know if you guys have ever spent a moment cleaning out your cell phone. I want to tell you that I did about mm, three weeks ago. I cleaned out my cell phone and I started deleting content or contacts. I even blocked some people because I realized as much as I care for them that they weren't going to serve me in any positive way. Uh, also, I had so many contacts, I didn't even remember who they were because it's been, you know, I've gathered so many over the years. So I encourage you as part of the lesson for today to rid yourself of those contacts that aren't serving you. And you can, this is good for business, this is a total feng shui concept. Uh, but the idea is that you're creating space for new contacts to come in and new amazing relationships that forward your vision and are in harmony with you. <clears throat> So I want to read this, uh, this quote that I thought was pretty good in the book. It's by an ancient Sufi poet, Rumi, who says it best. The being human is a guest house. Every morning, a new arrival, a joy, a depression, a meanness. Some momentary awareness comes as an unexpected visitor. Welcome and attend them all. Even if they're a crowd of sorrows who violently sweep your house, empty of its furniture, still treat each guest honorably, he may be clearing you out for some new delight. So I thought that was beautifully written and makes complete sense. And so it's about letting go of things that are not serving you and being open to the experience of the letting go and open to the experience of joy and love and sorrow. So when I cleared out my phone contacts and let go of a whole bunch of uh, people, 
that I knew most likely I would never talk to again, I honestly felt so depressed for like 24, maybe almost 48 hours. I felt so sad. It was like there was a death happening, um, knowing that I wasn't going to be talking to these people. But what's interesting is I knew that I was doing it intentionally. I was clearing out my contacts. I was clearing them out intentionally to create harmony for new relationships to come into my life. And I will tell you that on day or hour 72, three days later after I did this, I went to an event and everyone was like, oh my goodness, Bethany, you are glowing. What's going on? So it was really interesting because you know, 24 hours before, I was feeling so sad and disheartened because I had let, let go of all these people that weren't really going to serve my life anymore. And by doing that, next thing you know, it was like shedding a layer, shedding the outside of the onion, and, and people around me were like, oh my God, you're glowing. And I was, I was feeling it. I was definitely feeling it. So it was, it was powerful. So just know, bottom line, with loss comes beautiful things. And when you stay in that mindset and knowing, then you can accept the loss. You can accept the change and the letting go. And then that will support you in moving forward. Uh, let's see, there was something else I wanted to read you here. Thanks for joining everyone. Um, we're in lesson two, we're talking, or lesson two, lesson eight. We've made it eight days. <laughs> so we are going over creating the love of our life. Um, I don't know. Oh, a quote by Jesus. There's a quote by Jesus. <laughs> they don't even have like a, where it is in the Bible, but he who loses his life shall find it. He who loses his life shall find it. So just one more, one more quote to support letting go, allowing loss into our life and allowing it and knowing that it's forwarding us. It's bringing us to a new space and amazing we're, sh we're shedding the peel the onion peels okay so the homework for today lesson eight is to take out a journal and to make a list of three or more losses that you've suffered in your life and then received a subsequent gain um <laughs> so what comes up for me immediately is my divorce and you know when getting a divorce you think it's the worst thing possible but realize eventually that it was the best thing possible. So hold on, I'm getting a, okay. So getting divorced for me was not fun at all. It was very saddening, um, but it ended up being an absolutely beautiful thing because my whole life has completely taken a different course. I never once thought I'd be moving to Los Angeles. From Portland Oregon and here I am and I'm absolutely loving it I'm loving all the amazing people I'm meeting um, and career I mean I was a real estate agent in Portland which I loved but this I just feel I just feel on a different level I'm on a different level here so just look back at your life and spend some time calculating some losses that you had maybe you lost a job and then next thing you know I'm working on a startup um, so I'm working on a startup in health and tech and then I'm also an artist and I think I get to start sharing more of my art you can see one piece behind me oh. but yeah I'm an artist I love creating and I'm working on a startup in health and tech and I'm really excited so stay tuned about that because um, it's gonna be huge and we're taking on America's healthcare, <laughs> so it's a it's a big one um, but yeah, so spend time journaling and then this is something you can go back to. So if you were to create a list, maybe of all the negatives that happened or that you thought were negative and then the positive outcome, this is something that in the future when you're having a lull or feeling depressed, you could go back and look at. So maybe if you create something on Evernote or your notes or something on your phone, just something you can have ease of access to and just be reminded of the beauty that can come with a downfall. Um, or what we think is a downfall. Um, let's see. Ooh, the bonus, the bonus homework is to initiate a loss that hasn't happened yet. So let me read this to you. Uh, take one or more actions today to initiate a loss that you've been trying to avoid. Maybe you don't want to deal with it. Maybe it's 
leaving a job, but we're talking relationship here. So for example, end a friendship working for you anymore. Burn an old love letter from an ex that you've been holding on to um, through prolonged grief or block them from your phone like we were talking about earlier just to get them out of your life so you can move forward and, and let go of relationships that you have on the back burner as maybe someday when they leave their girlfriend or they're ready to commit. Like, no, you are deserving of someone that wants you now. Um, so yeah. Oh, going through your closets and getting rid of everything that you haven't worn for a year or more. That's very feng shui. That, that's similar to the lesson we did yesterday. So that is the lesson today. I don't know if you guys have any questions. Uh, feel free to ask and I'll see if I can support. But we're doing this every single day. Yes, it is. Every day is the beginning. I love mornings. I know some people aren't morning people, but you know, I am grateful to be alive every single morning and it's a new breath of fresh air. And, oh, goodness. Lesson number nine tomorrow, uh, if you guys want to subscribe, is letting go of the past. Yay! Letting go is good. What are mornings? Mornings, um, it could be like 7 a.m. for me. I'm Pacific time. What are mornings to you? What do you mean by that? <laughs> I don't know what you mean. Um, but yeah, that's the end. So subscribe if you want to stay on this journey. I am going to start doing my art more. Uh, I might do it later today as well. Um, thank you. Yes. 1 p.m.? Holy smokes, do you wake up late? But you must work all night. You must be a night owl. I'm not really a night. Well, I'll stay up till like midnight and then go to bed. But yeah, I'm more like a six to seven, sometime in between there getting up. Um, but I guess I'll let you guys know how the day goes too <laughs> tomorrow. Oh, geez. Okay, you're a gym freak. Okay. Well, thanks for joining, and I will talk to you guys later. I encourage you to take on the challenge of today, and let's shift our lives. Okay, have a beautiful day. Bye.